Hi, I'm Paul Anastasio, and you're watching Robert Houston's Western Swing Rules. And indeed it does. Well, I'm Paul Anastasio. You could pronounce it Anastasio. That's really the Italian pronunciation, but my dad pronounced it wrong all my life, and so I'll answer to anything even close, especially if it's written on a check. Um, I was lucky enough to get to study with the guy who invented jazz violin, Joe Venuti, in, the, in Seattle in between about the end of 1976 and mid-'78 when he passed. And one of the things that he told me was that I had to change my grip on the bow, on the violin bow. He was a big fan of playing what you, playing your own style. He would say, it doesn't matter if it's good, bad, or indifferent, as long as it's you. But I was playing with um, a grip on the bow that's called the Franco-Belgian grip. Now, I'm going to point out I have some scar tissue on my hand, so my hand looks kind of weird. We're going to focus strictly on the thumb, index finger, and pinky. The Franco-Belgian grip, which has been taught by Ivan Galamian and a bunch of folks, and a lot of the modern classical players do, do this. The thumb is placed here on, on, on the underside of the stick, and it touches, the, the thumb touches the hair in a lot of cases. Then the downward pressure point is on the second bone out here. So if you... Let's see, how can I do this? Um, the thumb is placed here. Now, the way that I was taught and played for about 16 years before I met Joe Venuti was like this. So the, down, the, the bow is a lever. Here's the fulcrum. Here's the downward pressure point. Now, I was taught to play like this. And this allows a lot of flexibility in the wrist and this kind of thing. And uh, a lot of good classical players, Joshua Bell and others, uh, use this grip. But when I got in with Venuti, the one thing he was adamant about was he said, and this is a direct quote, you have to change your grip on the bow. He wanted me to change from the Franco-Belgian grip, in which the downward pressure point is on the second bone, to the Russian grip, which is where the downward pressure point is on the first bone out from the hand, like this. Now what that does, if you look at the way the back of the hand is here, ignoring my kind of funky, scarred up fingers. The back of the hand here is almost parallel with the bow stick. And that means you have to flex like this. And that's kind of an awkward parade wave type of movement. By switching to the Russian grip, you'll note the back of the hand pulls up like this, so that this angle is almost a 45 degree angle to the back, to the, the bow stick. This allows this to happen. And, truth be told, I could play an entire, not very good sounding, but serviceable fiddle tune only flex, using the flexing of the wrist. You know, watch some other players, including some fine players, and they play on every, every, most every bit of every stroke has to be made with the entire arm. You'll see people with the, with the Russian grip where you change from here to here, and then you wrap the, the, the finger around, you can make a stroke. One of Joe Venuti's old tunes was. See the wrist is making string crossings. The flexing of the wrist is allowing you to start a downstroke and to start an upstroke. And people who admire and idolize Johnny Gimbel as I do and idolize and admire the late Joe Venuti, the inventor of jazz violin, who started recording in 1924, played with Bing Crosby and Tommy and Jimmy Dorsey and everybody basically, invented the sound that Stefan Grappelli copied 10 years later. This grip allows you to make the stroke with the wrist Another part about it is the thumb is underneath there and you've got a good solid fulcrum. If you hold it like this, we've all heard players that have that kind of wussy sort of sound. But if you're down here, you've got that leverage and you can get the power you need to work the lever and get a good sound.
That grip is also used by Dick Barrett, Benny Thomason, a lot of the now departed Texas fiddle players. It's, it makes all the difference in the world because I, I'll be darned if I'm gonna use my whole arm for every stroke. I wanna do this. <laughs> Russian grip, and I urge you to try it. <laughs>